Precious Metals are made 2017 here in Zurich and with me here is now Midas Gold and Stephen Quinn, the CEO of the company, wants to give us an update because since last time we spoke in April, some nice things happened. Stephen? Great. Well, thanks Hi. very much. Yeah, great to have you here. And uh, yeah, I think April was the last time we spoke together. That's correct. And I think you're full in the permitting process, which takes, yeah, it looks like, or feels like forever. But maybe you can elaborate as you had some good progress. Yeah, we've been, uh, we entered the permitting process late in 2016. And um, then the election happened uh, in November 2016. Mm -hmm. And the new administration took over early 2017. And one of the things we've seen is a, a much more uh, greater willingness by the agencies to work together mm -hmm. to move things along more efficiently and effectively. Mm -hmm. And uh, we announced an agreement just recently where all the federal agencies, the state agencies, and the county have agreed to work together on a single permitting process instead oh. of having multiple parallel permitting process, just one coordinated, effective mm -hmm. uh, permitting process. So Fantastic. that's a, a good development. So that would save you, I presume, a lot of time, right? And yeah, maybe also money. Correct. Yeah. It, it should do both of those. And, and, and I think probably the other aspect of it is it potentially reduces the risk of a significant delay. Because if you go back to, say, companies like Romarco mm -hmm. got delayed for two or three years oh, yeah. because an agency came along partway through the process mm -hmm. and said, oh, now we've got to go back and do all this other work. Uh, yeah. You know, that essentially can't happen now because all the agencies have agreed to a process, mm -hmm. they've agreed to a timeline, and they're now all working together to make that happen as an eff effective, efficient yeah. process. That, that, let's put it there, but that redu uh, would reduce surprises. Correct. Exactly. <laughs> That's the objective. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, so also U.S. Forestry Service, for example. Maybe can you give us a bit more of an insight? I mean, how many agencies are involved in such a process and on what you have to pay attention, really? Sure. So there's seven agencies involved in the process, um, and they all cover different aspects mm -hmm. of it. The big federal agencies are uh, the Forest Service. In the U.S., uh, federal land is either controlled by the BLM, which people are familiar with in Nevada, mm -hmm. But in, in areas where you've got trees, it's the Forest Service. So mm -hmm. we're dealing with the Forest Service as the primary, primary agency, mm -hmm. no BLM involved. Okay. Um, then you have the EPA, which deals with water, mm -hmm. uh, endangered species, things like that. Mm -hmm. And then the Corps of Engineers deals, deals with wetlands and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. So we work through, those are the three main federal agencies, and there's three state agencies, mm -hmm. and then one county. Yep. So they all work together and make sure that each one of them is talking to each other right. and there's no gaps. Which is important. Yeah. Right. There's no gaps yeah. and there's no overlaps as yeah, well. Yeah. They're not doing the same thing twice. Okay, fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, Time-wise, what is your feeling? I know it's a forward-looking sure. statement and we talk about the future, but hypothetically, how long do you think this will take still? Yeah, the the agencies have announced a time frame to get it completed in the third quarter of 2018. Uh, 19, 19 permitting oh, wow, so that's two years, still two just years. a bit less than two years from now Gee. to have it full mm -hmm. to have the recorded decision mm -hmm. so and that's you know good timing for a federal u.s permitting process and mm -hmm. um, so you know but we're definitely working with the agencies to try and find ways to be more efficient to do mm -hmm. things more to uh, maybe reduce it yeah reduce yeah. time frames yeah. and definitely to reduce the risk that it takes okay. longer perfect and you have the money in the bank of course to survive those two years correct we yeah. uh, we did a financing last year that was mm -hmm. backstopped by Paulson and Co mm -hmm. the big New York hedge fund and some of our large shareholders and you know that brought in 55 million dollars mm -hmm. Canadian yeah. um, so we're well funded and and you know obviously it depends on how long it takes to get to the end of the day, but mm -hmm. you know we're well funded to reach for a significant period. Okay, super. Uh, maybe it's too big question, but as you are in the permitting process, are you still doing, let's say, additional work on the ground, like uh, whatever, drilling, more metallurgy, more uh, setups? Yeah, because the parallel effort that we're doing besides permitting is we're doing a feasibility study. Mm -hmm. So we have a pre-feasibility that came out a couple of years ago, but we're now upgrading that to a final feasibility study. Oh, so it's like bankable. Yes, a, yeah. a bankable mm -hmm. feasibility. So we got a, um, uh, probably the two main things we're working on is we're upgrading the resource mm -hmm. and we're doing metallurgy. Mm -hmm. On the resource side, we did some drilling late last year, early this year, got some really good results. And primarily they're focused on converting inferred to indicated. Inferred, you can't use in a feasibility study. Nope. 
but they're there and they're in the pit and they're good yeah. grade. So yeah. you obviously want to convert them to reserves. Exactly. So yeah. we did that drilling. Mm -hmm. It was very successful. We got some really good results. Um, we had one hole that was over 220 meters of three grams right from surface. No, um, that's and fantastic. Things like that. So, yeah. um, and again, it was inferred. Mm -hmm. We knew there was something good there, but now it proved, and now it can go into the feasibility study. Mm -hmm. So we did that drilling. The results have all been announced. So we're now mm -hmm. doing the resource update. Mm -hmm. uh, that should be done um, Q1 next year kind of mm -hmm. timing. We should have all the resource updates out. And then on the metallurgy side, we've done about... Um, 70% um, of the process to mm -hmm. date has been proven and we've announced results on that already. We're now just finalizing the last step and that'll be done by the end of this year and results should be out on that early next year. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of the feasibility is really kind of putting the mine plan together, doing the economics, costing yeah. the equipment, doing the financial model and optimizing yeah. it. And, and, the, and the feasibility is scheduled to be out in the second half of next year, mm -hmm. second half of 2018. Okay, fantastic. How much money we are roughly talking about for the whole project? To, uh, invest? to, to build it? Yeah. It's $970 million to mm -hmm. build it, but it builds a 340,000 ounce a year gold mine, mm -hmm. uh, which will produce actually 390,000 in the first four years. Yeah. So very large scale. This yeah. will be the, if it was in production today, it'd be the fourth largest gold mine in the United States, and it's got mm -hmm. uh, it'd be the fourth highest grade open pit. It's got mm -hmm. the eighth largest reserve in the United States. So yeah, this is yeah. a, a world class project. I mean, a lot of people yeah. use that word, but this yeah. is truly yeah, world that's class. really world class, yeah. definitely. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, it, it justifies also the amount of capex. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, this is a big gold mine. Yeah. Super. Great. Great. Then, well, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much for the update, and uh, we keep it going, and we look forward to the next results then. Great. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it was uh, Stephen Quinty, CEO of Midas Gold. And yeah, you heard it. Uh, they are on track, on plan, on time. And they have put together all the, yeah, I would call it permitting agencies now. They are all yeah, running in, in the same direction and there shouldn't be any surprises. So... For 2018, still a lot going on, and uh, we wait for the uh, you know, for for the, for the bankable feasibility study moving on also. And uh, yeah, new for this V101 conversion of uh, inferred into resources and uh, into reserves, which is even more important, which you know for the bankable, which you need for the bankable feasibility study. So check it out. Thanks for watching us. Bye bye from Zurich.